Hello everyone, today I'm going to be do a, doing a buying guide slash review of iPad of iPod cases. I did iPad last time, so I'm going to do iPod now. So the first case I, I'm going to review is the Griffin Defend, not, not, not Defender, but it's kind of, I think it's that bad. Let me just give it a look quick. It is a Griffin Tracker. Yes, it's the Tracker case. I personally like this case a lot because it is pretty much like an order box but I live in Canada so we so I just can't go to Walmart and buy an order box for an iPod Touch fourth generation. So I so I got this for Christmas for my grandparents. I like how it's how it's easy to hold because it, because it has these little Ridges, kind of, not really, but ridges. It's easy to hold. It has all the buttons. Sometimes it get kind of sticky, but that's kind of life. It has it has all the buttons. They're all covered too, so that's great. So if you drop it, it's good. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what these two little buttons, not buttons, but holes are here. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I'm sure they have use. But as you can see here, I've had two cases, and this is the second case that's done this. There's a used to little window here that folds up to protect this, but each time it's broken off. I'm not sure why, but not, you don't really need it. Just, it's just there to protect that part. I've never really had a problem with that part. It's got hard, hard plastic. It's got double layers. So when you drop it, it's perfectly fine. So, that, so that's the Griffin Tracker. Next, I'm going to review the iFrogs. I don't know, it just doesn't really have a brand, a make. This case was total piece, total piece of junk. It was, I think it was like 12 or $15. Total piece of junk. As you can see uh, along the edges, it's breaking apart along the edges already. And I only, only had it for like a couple of months. So not a good case to buy, even though it has really great protection. It's a nice uh, finish on the back. It isn't the best case if you're looking for a case that's going to be strong durable and it's going to last you a long time if this isn't the case. Third and final case is this. It's a Logitech from London Jugs. It got on sale for five bucks. Also came in with a screen protector but the screen protector got dirty so it was showing air bubbles so I, ha I was forced to throw it out even though I didn't want to. But this case is a is my slimmest case. It's very very slim. When once you put it in a, in a screen protector it's just probably one of the slimmest iPod cases you can buy cool thing about this case is it has a media stand so if you're sitting watching a movie or TV or on your iPod you just like a it's just like a computer type thing you just sit something like that on a computer you like a computer so that's a really cool thing about, about this case yeah it's five bucks worth picking up it has all the cutouts except for around here these aren't cutouts you're just for the buttons and the dock connector and things like that. So now I'm going to tell you which case I would personally recommend. If you are on a budget, this case would be the best case because it's five bucks, comes with, with, with a screen protector, and also is a slimmest. So if you don't want a lot of bulk, this would be the case for you. And the case, the overall best case, is the Griffin Tracker. Even though it's $25, I don't know if they still sell it anymore. I, I don't really know, but I think they prob probably do until they stop selling the iPod 4th generation. Because it's not, it's not bulk, it's not too bulky like the our box. It's, it's not that bulky. That's a bit of bulk, but it's not totally bulky, but it's, it's the best protection. It isn't waterproof, but I bet you it's water resistant. It has a back hard piece that doesn't scratch your iPod. But it's completely, completely covered, so there's no scratches anywhere. One thing I I like versus another case they bought, another Griffin, is it doesn't have the cover over, over the camera, so you can just so this so the camera's not covered. That's another good thing that I saw about about this case, which on on, on an Alderbox I think they are covered. So this it should be the best case for anyone who wants good protection. And I think that wraps up for today. Thank you and have a good day. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.